What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. No, that was not any clickbait. That title is exactly what's taking place right now. You know, I don't like calling these bastards names. But the killer of George Floyd is appealing his state conviction of being found guilty for the murder of George Floyd. And many people are asking, including myself, before I did my research, can he really overturn that conviction and get his guilty ass out of prison? We know he's guilty. We all saw it, right? In 4K. But the question again is, can he get out? Hell no. Yeah, everybody take a sigh of relief. He cannot get out. He's already pled guilty to federal civil rights violations in federal court and is serving a mandatory 20 to 25 year sentence with that. And he's in federal prison right now in Arizona. Then you're asking Paul, why is he appealing the state conviction then? Well, let me look at it a different way. Maybe he's got this grand strategy of overturning the state conviction and then chopping away at the federal conviction and getting out in maybe 10 to 15. I'm not even concerned about that either. Now, anything can happen, of course, but I really think that's highly unlikely. So let me give you my opinion on why I think he is appealing that state conviction based on the wrong venue in the wrong city. He wants to move out of Indianapolis for a new trial. Me personally, I think you are looking at the definition of a delusion. He is completely delusional. In his mind, in his thinking process, he still believes he did nothing wrong. That's the gist of it right there. He actually believes he did nothing wrong when the entire world saw that he did. And my main question to the killer of George Floyd is, why won't you just go the fuck away? Just go away. Do you realize your actions caused this country almost burning to the ground? This country was at the brink of pure chaos because of you. It's sad, really. It doesn't anger me. It doesn't frustrate me. It's actually entertaining. You was judge, jury, and executioner when it came to George Floyd. So all this squirming and I want to appeal and I'm seeking out chop away this federal sentence. It doesn't matter, man. You are a convicted murderer. Simple as that. You will always be that. In full 4K. So it doesn't matter when, lose, or draw. You're not going to get out of that federal sentencing you're under now. You was already whining and crying about you want to serve your time in federal prison because federal prison is safer for officers. And let's stop right there. I'm, this is shit I've been reading. Let me stop right there. Why is their safety so important when they go to prison? Are they guarded and as safe as can be is some of the most heinous murderers, convicted felons in the country, in state pens? They do have the option of protected custody, right? So what is the difference between protected custody in state penitentiary and protected custody in federal penitentiary? Because you, my guy, you got to have protective custody in either one. You cannot go to general population. They know that. They probably trying to avoid a, a lawsuit from your family. Something happened to you in prison. So they going to put you involuntarily in protective custody. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think all of this is, is an emotional trigger and a gigantic distraction. Call me a conspiracy theorist. You call me anything you want to. But when things like this make it to the forefront, I often wonder, what in the hell are we being distracted from from what's really going on over here? Because this man right here, the killer of George Floyd, like my grandma would say, his ass is fried. It laid to the side. It's over for him. So who in the hell put this man up to be a distraction to us? 
once again. Thank you for tuning in. God bless one team.